These are the things that people are talking about at work, but they're also talking about them at home. From the economy to what's happening in your children's school, Utah's political leaders outlined their priorities today heading into the next legislative session. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow has details on what you should expect. Utah's economy is still going strong, but a new report released at the Salt Lake Chamber's annual legislative summit outlines some potential scenarios based on economic troubles ahead. Utah could see continuing growth a shallow recession, or a period of decelerating growth. Governor Spencer Cox says they are prepared with rainy day funds ready. We try to be incredibly fiscally responsible when we're, um, when we're allocating the precious resources, the sacred resources that the taxpayers of Utah have given us to, to distribute. The Salt Lake Chamber outlined its top priorities for the upcoming legislative session. These are the things that people are talking about at work, but they're also talking about them at home. Housing affordability is a big issue. Uh, workforce development. If we don't solve our water concern, we will stop growing as a state. Legislative leaders spoke about theirs. Affordable housing will be a big one. And I'm afraid we might be losing our middle class and that middle class is going away and, and I worry about them when they get to be maybe my age and, and they don't have any equity in a home and they, they don't have any stability. How can we work with our municipalities to keep people in their homes so they don't experience this homelessness? How do we make sure they're not getting charged a bunch of fees so they're pushed out of their homes? The House Speaker says they'll change laws to cut through red tape. Well, Ben, our kids need a place to live. And uh, if we don't all work together to help solve that problem, they're not going to have one. And they're going to move out of state or not be able to afford to live anywhere near us. Legislative leaders from both sides of the aisle support increasing funding for public education. We feel strongly our public education system needs to be solid, strong. We're going to try to find a way to fund teacher salaries directly. And then, yeah, thank you. But disagreement was on display when it came to the controversial school vouchers bill. One size doesn't fit all. And a teacher can't be everything to every child. And parents want choice. But if we can fund teachers, we can give choice to, to parents and uh, come up with innovative ways for pe teachers to be, or for people to be teachers, I think that's probably a win for everyone. I'm, I'm very cautious when we talk about vouchers because are we really going to help the people we say we're going to help or will they be left behind? Now these issues and more will be tackled when the legislature begins meeting next week. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.